Houston here with SNR Ballistics. Today we got this Marlin Model 97 22 lever action rifle. This rifle shoots 22 shorts, longs, and long rifle. Holds 18 long rifle. I don't have any shorts or longs, so I don't know exactly how many it holds. Somewhere in the 20s. Um, but we'll be shooting these Aguila Super Extra 22s today, just jacketed ball ammo. Let's go ahead and put some rounds through it. This fire. Oh, other one. It's got a bad round there. Let's take a look here. Still got some left. Oh. That's it. You see this thing holds quite a few rounds. Uh, I don't usually have much trouble with these rounds, but sometimes get a few misfires. Let's see, let's break this rifle apart, show you how it takes apart. I think they made around 450,000 of these between the model 1897 and the model 97. They changed it in 1905. Same rifle. This one's a pretty late production. You can see uh, 447,000 range. Basically how this works, you've got a notch here in your bolt. You can see. Uh, it sits on the top of your lever. When you pull your lever back, your bolt rides back, your ejector kicks out your case. When you do it forward, you can see that uh, cam there rides on your lever and lifts your cartridge up. Your bolt would push it forward into the chamber and then it drops back down once the uh, bolt is all the way forward pretty simple design uh you know it's a good design smooth action pretty reliable i uh, picked this rifle up about a month ago on a online auction on gun broker not sponsored got a pretty interesting uh, way of loading too well not really I mean it's typical tube magazine but your standard uh, tube magazine for a 22 where you pull the plunger all the way out this one stays connected you actually load to the inside of that tube there load 18 rounds in Like we said, guys, we haven't had much trouble with this rifle here. We're just going to blame this one on the ammo here. This uh, Aguila loose-packed round is uh, not the greatest, but it is cheap. There's that can. Let's go ahead and put a few more rounds down range. Let's see if we can... Uh, that brick there. These are little 22s don't do too much. Let's see if we can uh, put a few rounds on that kitchen set. Let's see. 
shoot some of that uh, blue uh, tubing there. Maybe we can hit uh, that little tube there. Maybe it'll hit that. Go ahead and put the rest of these, uh, put them in that pallet. That's empty. We'll put a few more rounds in and uh, let Garrett take some shots. Okay guys, so as you can see our shooting gallery here is not anything special. Just uh, some junk we've hauled in over the years. Uh, we're planning on putting some uh, more professional targets. We've got some steel targets that we just haven't brought out here, but today we're just going to shoot at some uh, junk. That's it. You know, nothing really beats these uh, older guns, especially these lever actions, you know. 22 long rifle, you can't go wrong with it. You got 500 rounds for 20 bucks. Can't beat that. So, to end this video, we've got uh, Henry out here, just a newer production uh, lever action 22. Now, obviously it's not the same mechanism same action exactly as the marlin but just something for a little comparison uh, you can see the on the newer gun they're made out of a little bit better steel uh, but if you look at the fit and finish the wood to the metal something about these older guns you know it's just when you're shooting them you can feel the difference you know the newer guns might have a little bit better rifling better bluing just because these ones are worn down. Granted, this gun was actually a case hardened gun. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera. But when the sun hits it right, you can see a little bit of the uh, remaining case hardening. Oh, yeah. But these older guns, a lot of times the fit can be better, unless the wood's just really shrunk. Uh, the newer guns are great. Not knocking this one. Uh, I don't have it loaded up right now, but... Uh, it's still a fun shooter, but I always just prefer these older guns. Now, this is Garrett's rifle. This one is mine, so sometimes we might uh, compete to see which one's a little better and whatnot, but they're both great rifles. We'll, we'll get a video on this one soon. We're going to try to put out one to two videos a week, so uh, like, subscribe. It helps us out so we can get some new targets so we're not just having to shoot at the junk uh, and We'll see you next time.